All right, and welcome back. So today we are going to be going through chapter three, section five, talking about the angles of a polygon. Previously, we spoke about angles of a triangle. Now we're going to extend it to angles of a polygon. So please have out your guide and notes. Let's begin. So by the end of this video, we should be able to recognize and name convex polygons and regular polygons. And we should be able to find the measure of interior and exterior angles of polygons. So polygons have vertices, sides, angles, and exterior angles. Polygons are named by listing consecutive vertices in order. So A, B, C, D, E, F is one name for the polygon on the right-hand side. A segment connecting two non-consecutive vertices of a polygon is called a diagonal. So segment AD and segment FB are diagonals because I can connect AD and I can connect FB across our polygon. So convex polygons are polygons such that no part of a diagonal is exterior to the polygon. So on the left-hand side, these are not polygons. In the middle, these are convex polygons. And on the right-hand side, we're gonna have what are called non-convex polygons. They're polygons because they all have rigid sides, they all have vertices, but we have a diagonal that could be in the exterior. So for example, if we look at this first figure, I could connect these two vertices and that diagonal is in the exterior. So it's not going to be a convex. They're still a polygon because they have rigid sides and they all have vertices, but it's not a convex polygon. When we talk about polygons in this book, in this year, we will always mean convex polygons. We're specifically going to be referring to convex polygons. And polygons are classified according to the number of sides they have, and some of them have special names. So if we have three sides, it's gonna be a triangle, four sides is a quadrilateral, five sides is a pentagon, six sides is a hexagon, eight sides is an octagon, 10 sides called a decagon, and n number of sides, we could say n-gon. So let's say we have a 13-sided figure, we'd call it a 13-gon. And the sum of the measures of the angles of a convex polygon with n number of sides is n minus 2, the number of sides take away 2, multiplied by 180. And the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of any convex polygon, one at each vertex, is 360 degrees. So if we go through an example together, a polygon has 24 sides. We're going to call it 24-gon. We want to find the interior angle sum and the exterior angle sum. So to find the interior, we know that n is 24. We have 24 sides. So the sum of the interior angles will be n minus 2, or in this case, 24 minus 2, because there's 24 sides, multiplied by 180. So we do 22 times 180 gives us 3,960. And the sum of the exterior angles will always be 360 degrees. Always, always, always. And remember, the exterior angle is going to be if we extend the sides. But we're always going to end up with 360 degrees as the sum of our exterior angles. With this in mind, please work on problems 1 through 12 on the guide notes and resume when you're ready to move forward. So a regular polygon is a polygon that is both equiangular, all sides are congruent, I'm sorry, all angles are congruent, and equilateral. That's when we have all sides being congruent, and that's going to be regular. So again, a polygon is both equiangular and equilateral, we call that regular. So like a regular triangle is a equiangular and an equilateral triangle. A square is a regular quadrilateral. So if we have this example, we want to find the measures of each interior angle and each exterior angle of a regular pentagon. Well, we got to think about what does it mean to be a pentagon? A pentagon has five sides. So the sum of the interior angles is five take away two. Again, the number of sides, five, 
minus 2 times 180, that gives us 540. But we're not done there. We now found the sum of the interior angles, but we need to find each angle. So to do that, we're going to divide by 5. Since there's 5 angles, they're all congruent, we're going to take the total sum and divide it by 5. So we get 108 degrees at each interior angle. And the exterior angle is going to be 360 because we know the sum is always 360. And we're going to divide it by 5 because there's going to be 5 exterior angles and we get 72. With this, please work on problems 13 through 17 on the guide of notes and resume when ready to go through one last example. We're going to be asked how many sides does a regular polygon have if there's going to be some values. So we want to see how many sides does a regular polygon have if the measure of each exterior angle is 45 and the measure of each interior angle is 150. So in order for us to find the number of sides using the exterior angle being 45, we are going to use 360 divided by n, the number of sides, is equal to 45 because we know that the sum is always 360 and we divide that by the number of sides to get us each angle. But now we're going to substitute in our known value, which is we know each angle is 45. So we multiply both sides by n and we find that it's going to be an octagon. It's going to be eight sides to it. And the measure of each interior angle we know is 150. So we're going to take a similar approach here. We're going to do n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. So it's the number of sides minus 2 multiplied by 180 gives us our grand sum. And we divide that by the number of sides. Well, that's going to be equal to 150 because we know each interior angle is 150. And that's what we're trying to find. We multiply both sides by n. We can then distribute 180 inside. And we can use our algebra skills to find that we end up with a 12-sided figure or a 12-gon. With this, please work on problems 18 through 23 on the guide of notes. Great job today. If you have any questions, please let us know. Keep making yourself proud. We'll talk to you soon.